Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How you all doing today? Today we're looking at a couple of uh, gas dryer uh, valves. And so I have a friend who has this older style. This is a good 25 year old style here. I mean, it's about at least 25 years old, maybe 30 years old style. This is the newer style. And so basically they have their dryer up and up in a two-story with uh, in the corner of the washroom, which is kind of hard to get to. Rather than replace the whole dryer, we're going to try and fix it. And so it has this style uh, valve on it. Now the main difference between these valves, I've got an old cover, I've got a cover covering the igniter. Uh, it will still use, it, you can still adapt an, a, the same uh, igniter onto it. But uh, the difference mainly is that this older style valve only has two wires uh, that feed it. And let's see, it's going to be this white, no, it's going to be, wait, this, this wire here, these wires here are the only two wires that feed the older style. And on the newer style, we have separate connections. Um, we have separate connections for the igniter and also the flame sensor, which I don't have here. So, you know, on this one, the flame sensor is integrated in with the two wire system. So, so these insulated wires, these insulated wires here go to the igniter. Uh, this, these two wires, the blue and the uh, white here, go to the flame sensor. And so, yeah, and these two here actually feed the unit, go up to the timer. Okay, let's go over this diagram. Uh, real quick here. So here's the valve and so basically um, what we see is that once again we see that the blues the blues are all tagged together here so basically the blues which would be the uh, the top and bottom coils and then the, the other end of the blue goes to the flame sensor so the blues are together and branch to the flame sensor uh, where the voltage is. The blacks are together, so we have the blacks together here. And the blacks are together and we have a hot inlet to the igniter. So here's the, the black, which is going to be one of the one of the voltage input lines and so yeah so the blue and the black are basically the power and the whites the whites go together the whites so the whites here are together goes from one coil here to the other through the other coil here, it looks like. So the whites go together, and then one white goes to the flame sensor, and then, and these flame sensors are the same, so we don't have to worry about old style flame sensors. So one, go, one of the whites goes to the flame sensor, uh, the other white goes to 
the igniter. So that's kind of what it's, the diagram looks like. And you theoretically could wire a newer style up, but you'd have to sort of figure this, the wiring schematic out in order to do that correctly. So that's the main difference between these two. <clears throat> and my friend has one of these, and one of these coils on the top is dead because what will happen is it will come on uh, to the first uh, temperature. In other words, it'll heat up and then the thermostat will shut it down because it's running hot. And then after that, these one of the coils is bad because it won't come back up again. That's typically what will happen when these coils start to go out. That is, it will start once and then won't start after the second, after the first uh, temperature rise. So yeah, those are the main two differences once again. We have a separate connection on the newer styles for the igniter. We also have a separate connection for the flame sensor on the newer styles. Where on this one, we only have two wires to the unit. And all these wires go to the flame sensor at an igniter. So that's the difference between the old style and the newer style. If this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Recycling Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. Thank you. If you need any help, you can contact me at 707-445-1591.